Well, hello every Brony and Pigasus sister, sister out there. This is me, EA Trooper here. And I might as well just read you something that I might as well have to find first. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna read you guys something. How about... Let's see, how long is this? Okay. It's called uh, My Little Derpy. It's like uh, My Little Dash, except uh, Derpy Poos in it. Okay. My Little Derpy by Derpy Who's 123, Chapter 1. My Little Derpy. My name is David. Every day I go through the same routine. Wake up, go to work, work, get back, go to bed, repeat. Sometimes if I have extra time on my hands, I watch the show My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic on YouTube. My favorite character has always been Derpy Who's. Sometimes I wish I could have my own Derpy Who's. But when I remember that she's from a TV show, I can't just bear to stop thinking about being with her every March 1st is Derpy Day, an important holiday for Derpy fans. It's the most important holiday to me. It's it's most important. It's more important than Christmas to me. It makes me happy to to honor my favorite character in a holiday. But it's not enough to stop the depression inside me since the person, or pony, to be exact, is in a TV show. One day I wish, I will, wait, one day I will find a way to gain happiness. But when, how, I just, I just do not know. Okay. Uh, today at 7 a.m. I watched the episode of My Little Pony called Last Roundup. The episode Derpy finally spoke. It's my favorite episode due to that. After Derpy fell back into the hole after saying, Go Applejack! Woohoo! My TV began to glow and a gray Philly Pegasus appeared in front of it. I recognized the Philly instantly. It was Derpy. The Pegasus opened her eyes. Her eyes were normal. I thought Derpy's eyes were always crossed. I shrugged a bit. I looked at the great Pegasus, and she looked at me. Shook her head, yeah. Wait. What? Sorry about that. I read the head. Looked at the great Pegasus, and she looked at me back. She seems a bit scared. She was shivering. I reached my hand to her and backed away. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Come here. Derpy stomach grumbled and then she looked at me. Are you hungry? I asked. I knew the answer was yes. Derpy shook her head yes. I took some leftovers in the fridge. I wonder what a pony like Derpy would eat. I thought for about five seconds and then I said, that's it. I took out a mu That's it. I took out a muffin, and I was saving for Derpy Day, and ga gave it to Derpy. Derpy smelled the muffins. He smelled and took a, a large bite out of the muffin. I thought to myself, "Whoa, nice for a filly, little filly." I smelled at Derpy, and he smelled back. It's been two years since I found Derpy. Today was her birthday, but today she was asleep when I woke up. Uh, I didn't know her birthday, so I stuck it in the day where I found her, February 14th. During the past two years, Derby made me work harder, and I made a lot of money. For, for her birthday, I saw I bought Derby a tiny tiara. Aww. She... She seemed to really like it. During Derpy Day on March 1st, we had a muffin eating contest. <laughs> Derpy won with it by a mile. Derpy is no longer Philly. She is a young mare. Hmm. So, uh, Derpy was the only thing that made me laugh during those two years. When she went on my head, she said, I'm a hat. Then, <laughs> that made me laugh so hard for her. So far, I'm calling these years the, year, the years of happiness. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, she's kind of funny. 
Okay, let's see. Today was awful when I came back from work. Derpy was sitting on the couch with tears in her eyes and a muffin in her hoof. Hooves. She was watching something. Rainbow Dash. Ah! You're gonna cheat for me like that? Louder! Fluttershy. Yay! Rainbow Dash. Louder! Fluttershy. Yay! Rainbow Dash. Louder! Fluttershy. <gasps> No! Derpy saw me hiding behind the door. Daddy, who am I? Derpy asked. You're... you're... I tried to say it, but I couldn't. Daddy, answer me! Derpy's voice raised. I couldn't answer. I just couldn't. I don't know why, but I just couldn't answer. Answer me! Derpy's voice was in max volume. Derpy, I will explain everything. I finally answered. I explained everything to Derpy from the show to the fandom to the air with her eyes. Everything. She flew upstairs. I went to her room and locked the door. Oh, great. I got locked out of my own room, I said. I just said that to, to get Derpy out of my mind. But uh, I knew that that's impossible. I'm a monster. Uh just like in my little dashy because um like the man didn't tell rainbow i mean dashy about her being a cartoon character hm. well that's kind of a thing too if i had one knowing derpy's appetite i knew derpy wasn't gonna stay there that for that long i was right derpy unlocked the door and came downstairs i'm sorry daddy you know for raising my voice at you derpy said I'm so sorry. I'm sorry too. I kept the secret for a long time, as in two years, I replied. We both chuckled a bit. Derpy crossed her eyes to make a funny moment. Then Derpy's eyes stayed that way. Oh, that explains the cross eyes, I said. Oh no, I'm a freak, Derpy yelled. No, Derpy, it's actually really cute, I said to Derpy. Derpy, I mean, Really? asked Derpy. Yeah, I replied. Want a muffin, Derpy? I asked. Yeah, I wouldn't. Why would I say no? She replied. Good point. I threw the muffin at her. Catch! Derpy did not catch it. I picked up the muffin and gave it to her directly. Give it, give it to her directly. Sorry, I was just rereading that till the previous time. Here, I smelled that derpy, and derpy smelled back one, while grabbing the muffin with her mouth. Suddenly, I heard a knock at the door. Who is it? I asked. Can I come in? The voice said. I told derpy to go to my room, and she did. I opened the door, and there were two ponies and a dragon there. I was shocked to see them. It was Twilight, Spike, and Dinky. Sure make yourselves at home, the two creatures. Sure. Make yourselves at home. The creatures came into my house. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen a gray mare pegasus around? According to my calculation, calculations, she should be right... Should be, she should be here. <sighs> Where's mommy? Where's mommy, Derpy? Asked Dinky. Derpy heard Dinky from upstairs and rushed down to ask Dinky. Mommy, Derpy? Mommy, Derpy! Mommy, it's you! Derpy said, I mean, Dinky said. Dinky tried to hug Derpy, but Derpy pushed her back, her back, saying, Whoa, who are you? I'm Dinky, your daughter? Dinky said to Derpy. Yeah, I think I would have remembered that. You, you don't remember me? Dink Dinky started to cry. Spike King comes to reasons, but with her, does but doesn't work. Derpy, Dinky needs you. She's been crying for the last two, two days straight. Twilight says to Derpy. I started to think in my head, and then then say, "Is wait two days? It's been two years." Twilight, what? Twilight had a surprised look on her face. 
you mean you took care of Droopy here for two years? Um, yeah, I replied. We must bring Derpy back. If Pinky cries too much, Discord could escape. And if I stay here too long, and there is no other element of magic, Discord could escape, Twilight said. No, I'm not leaving, squinted Pinky. You're not my daughter. I know, I know, I would know. I'm Derpy. I am me. I know who, I know all about me, Derpy yelled at Twilight. I started to say something. I started to say some. I started saying something. Derpy, you have to go protect Equestria. Go on. But, but, Derpy said at me. Go! I yelled at Derpy. I don't need you anymore. Go back to Equestria. I lied to get Derpy to go back to Equestria. It failed. I held Derpy down. Do it, Twilight. Twilight's horn began to glow with magic. Twilight used the memory spell to give Derpy all her memories back. David cries a bit as Twilight's horn touches Derpy when Der David opens his eyes. No, but Pony was there. Meanwhile, back in Ponyville, Derpy opened her eye opens her eyes. Her eye her crossed eyes. She sees seven ponies and a dragon in front of her. They were her Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Fluttershy, Applejack, Dinky, and Spike. What the hey is happening? Derpy asked. And she looked around to saw that it was raining chocolate milk. <laughs> of course. Discord a Daquinoxus and a spear of spirit of disarmony. It appears by the eight ponies and Spike were evilly laughing. Laughed. Wa ha ha ha. I think I must thank you, Derpy, for releasing me from that rock person prison. You must be a disabled pony. Dinky got really angry at Discord. Hey! No pony calls my mom disabled. Dinky raced at Discord, but Discord teleported before Dinky even touched him. Such pathetic ponies. Derpy, I mean Discord, said while tapping Dinky from behind. Dinky was even more her dark, dark grayish. No, I mean Dinky, no! Derpy yelled, Princess Celestia then flew over their heads landing and teleported the seven ponies and Spike into their place. Twilight yelled at the princess. Why did he do that? We had our necklaces. Discord is smarter than before, Twilight. He knows why he lost last time, and he knows what to do now, the princess answered. Der okay, the Derpy li listened closely and, and asked, How did Discord escape? The princess answered to Derpy. Twilight was in the human world for way too long. Even though it has been a, in a few a few seconds in our world, Twilight needs to be here because she's the element of magic it, in Equestria. The human world, Derpy said, sadly said. Oh, I guess I didn't clear the, her memories from the human world. I must have only brought back. I must have only brought back her memories from Equestria. I guess I'll try again, Twilight said in a normal yet partially sad way. As Twilight tried to do the memory spell, Derpy jumped back. No! I won't let you ruin my life even more, Derpy yelled. I mean, yeah, thanks for Derpy, well, whatever. Um, she, she flew away, wiping away her tears. The eight ponies and Spike followed her. As they caught up to Derpy. Derpy began to pick up speed. Uh, but because of her cross eyes, it was hard for her to see where she was going. She crashed, in, she crashed into Sugar Cube Corner. The ponies and Spike decided to stop and leave her to sob, except Fluttershy. Uh, I'm sorry, Derpy. We didn't mean to hurt you, but it's Dinky was crying, which could have which could have caused Discord to break free. 
but I'm sorry, I said the derpy with a hoof on derpy's shoulder. Rainbow Dash continued. Yeah, it's either your dad or the lives of the land and sky of Equestria. Derpy relaxed a bit and sighed. Well, I guess I... I guess, but I wish I could see Dave... Dad, one more time. Derpy sighed again, continued sitting down glum. Pinkie Pie walked up to her. So sorry, Derp. Uh, Pinkie said in a neutral way. Uh, with Pinkie, the element of laughter in her presence, Derpy nearly cheered up, kind of. Okay, I'm going home. Derpy started walking home. While walking, Discord appeared and tricked Derpy. He laughed evilly and teleported away. Derpy got up. Okay. Wait. Okay then. Gotta get my to my um. Derpy's fall on the head caused Derpy to act. Well, Derpy. Where was I going to? Derpy asked herself. She continued trotting on. Maybe I was going to the muff. Ah! She hit a brick wall. Silly brick wall, she said, going around and hitting, running around into cranky doodle donkey. Oh, donkey person, yay! A bit. Like glittery, like glittery, running into him. Derpy said, oh. Wait, Derpy. Oh, sorry. Um, Cranky. Cranky! It's Cranky! Cranky yelled at Derpy after Derpy said, um, for five minutes. Oh, okay, Cranky. Derpy said happily. <laughs> cranky Stacy. Look, kid, I'm visiting my dad, and I'm not really in the mood for the likes of you. It's very ob obvious, Cranky was discordified as well. Der Derpy's expression suddenly dropped. Dad? Sorry. Dad. Cranky was really angry now and pushed Derpy away from yell pushed Derpy away, yelling, Move kid Derpy yelled was Derpy was already sad as it if is. She felt a tear dripping from her cheek. Derpy ran to the Everfree Forest with her with tears in her eyes. Dad, she thought. I knew I know you you're out there, but where? Derpy kept trotting through the forest until she saw a light. No, not a light, a portal to the human world. She hopped into the portal. Meanwhile, back in the human world, David was on the couch was crying on the couch. Derpy he thought he was crying for hours on the couch, repeating the same thing. Finally, he cried himself to sleep. As he woke up, he felt a small tug in his arm. He looked back and saw, ah, you know it, Derpy. He jumped at Derpy with tears and hugged her. Derpy, you're back. How'd you get here? I went into the Everfree Forest and found a portal. I knew I'd find you somehow, Derpy answered with tears of joy. They, after, they hugged for a few minutes until Derpy interrupted. How long was I gone? A year. A whole year. A year? It's been, um, oh yeah, a day in Equestria. Derpy explained, always, the, this Discord has taken over Equestria? But anyways, Discord has taken over the Equestria. David's motion nearly changed to surprise. Discord, ah, not again. I don't know what to do. Keep you or save Equestria. I can't decide. Derpy, what? This is your choice. You're gonna stay with me or save Equestria. Derpy thought for a while, a long while. Then she finally gave up. I don't know, Daddy. Da David sighed. Even if, even if we did decide to, for you to go save Equestria, uh, how would you get back to Equestria? 
then six ponies and a dragon appear. Derpy, the purple pony Twilight said. Uh, we figured a, uh, we figured a, uh, heard since no matter what happened, Discord will win. So we'll keep your, keep you company free. No way, there has to be a way to defeat Discord. And the six ponies and Spike then started glowing and transformed back into Discord. No, it isn't. Wah ha 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 ha. Oh my god, he's like a troll now. God. Uh, well, he's kind of like a troll in the first place. Okay. David and Derpy had a surprise look on their faces. Um, whoa. 20 minutes. Wow. Um, Discord continued. Yes, and wait. I can't breathe. Discord teleported back to Equestria. Too late. Too late. David then answered. Apparently, Dequinosti, Pearl for Dequinosis, can't breathe in human air. Discord was disabled from any magic. He had no powers now. Meanwhile, back in Ponyville, the main six and Princess Lesbia found Discord on the ground crying. Why does this keep happening? Discord yelled. The main six put on their necklaces. Are you ready, Discord? Twilight said to Discord in, der in determination. Go ahead, take your best shot. I don't care. Uh, Discord replied. The ponies shrugged and decided to start. They glowed and launched their rainbow card blast at Discord. Discord turned into stone. Again. Wow, that was so boring compared to last time, Rainbow Dash said. Um, yeah, I guess. Fluttershy agreed, still in her quiet voice. Pinky tapped Twilight's hoof. Foot. Foot. It's supposed to be hoof. Um, Twilight, what happened? Uh, Twilight Twi replied, You were discordified. Discordified. Pinky. Pinky, I, I was discorded. What? Twilight, never mind. And, um, Twilight, can you teleport me somewhere? Pinky asked Twilight. Sure, where? There'd be. I mean, Twilight. Said happily, Pinky whispered in her place in her whispered the place in her ear. Um, sure, it could prevent Discord from breaking from breaking out. Twilight uh, teleported Dinky back into human world. Derpy was telling David about what happened and how. She got to the human world. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door. David opened it and saw Dinky. Hi, I asked Twilight if I could stay with you, and she said yes. Can I? David an David answered Dinky. Of course, with Derpy, with Derpy's daughter here, it'll be even more fun. Derpy rushed to Dinky. Muffin, it's you. Derpy. And Dinky tried tried to hug up, but accidentally fell on each other. <laughs> David, Dinky, and Derpy all laughed. <laughs> David thought for a while, and he laughed. I guess dr dreams do come true, as Derpy will always be my little Derpy. Well, as Derpy will always be my little Derpy. Okay, then that is um. The fan fiction My Little Derpy by um, Derpy Who's One Two Three. God, it actually takes like what twenty four minutes to complete. Wow, well, especially with my reading. Well, this is E A Trooper signing off, and I'll upload this and if I get enough thingy. So, see you guys later.